to all the church to YouTube. Hopefully my uh, internet is a-okay this time. <laughs> Dang. You're live. All right. What's up, everybody? Welcome. Welcome back to another Sunday stream. Super chill. Uh, I'm just gonna be making, I'm gonna try to learn how to make a mask. I saw a lot of different videos on how to make masks. Now, I'm going to be taking the time out to make masks for others. I have a link down below, you guys can check it out. It's kind of like, if you know how to sew, I would highly recommend to check out the link. We need more people to help out making masks. The whole situation is crazy. I don't want to talk about the negatives, but I do want to talk about getting started with, starting with this masks. I've never made a mask before, let alone the way that I want to make this mask. I kind of want to learn all the different ways on how to make masks because there's so many different ways and I just want to be familiar with all of the different ways. I, I've seen the kind of the one that loops kind of upwards like that. And it goes around your ear. I've seen the one with the elastic, which I have here, or show you right here. I know this one. But today we're gonna be focusing on the, I guess you can say it's a square pattern. And we'll, we'll start with that. I, I think I see some people jumping in. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up, De Depravic? Duh. PR Maverick, what's good? Alibaba, what's good? Life Woman, how you doing? I'm making some right now. Again, check out the link below, uh, more information about sending masks and whatnot. So actually I got a lot of kind of feedback from various different people about these masks. Uh, I took the liberty to look at like as much information as I can about these masks. Like uh, not wearing a mask is way better than or yeah, not wearing a mask is worse than not wearing a mask at all. Or how, how do I phrase this? Wearing a mask is better than not wearing a mask. Let's put it that, let's put it like that, plain and simple. So right now I have this square, let's put all this other stuff away. I have this square here, right? So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna do some pleats. I believe that's what it's called. I'm gonna pleat the, the fabric. And I want to pleat it down to a specific size. So let's kind of let's kind of go into what that looks like. So right now, this is looking at about six and about, let's see, one fourth? Yeah, six and one fourth. So I want to bring it down to about four inches. Because when you look at the mask on the person's face, it should only be like, here really just cover the nose and part of the mouth now i don't know if i'm going to be doing a backing to this this is more like a prototype that i really want to work on but i really want to learn how to pleat at the same time learn how to make these masks so let's kind of mark this out so i know where i am going with this actually this is six and a half i read that wrong Okay, that's fine. So we're gonna find the halfway mark on the mask and we'll just work from there. So six and a half. So we're looking at 625 or six and a four or third and a fourth. What am I saying? So right there. Yeah, like use this ruler real quick bring it to this point right here that's about the middle uh i just hacked a part of an old shirt folded in half cheated with using bottom of the t-shirt for one tie back less than five minutes including setting tension on a hundred year old machine that's crazy uh the cdc link yeah, if you can send that out, the CD. Oh, I don't know, cause I feel like, I feel like YouTube's going hard on the links. So I don't know how, I, how that, how that's gonna work. 
You can send it through Instagram if you can share it. That would be great. Let's try to fold this up. I'm going to try to fold it up about half an inch. That looks about half an inch on this side. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do, uh, I'm going to pin it, sew it, and then continue the pleats onto each one. So I think in total, I'm going to be doing about, I think eight pleats or four full pleats. I don't know if that's the right term. But I've been watching a lot of these videos and I'm trying to get it right. I'm not really following any formal instruction right now. Um, I think that that's kind of the fun of it too, is for me to like learn how to do specific things. Now I would use an iron, but I kind of am limited on space here. So I'm going to try to do this as best as I can so so right now we should have took off about half an inch which we took more than half an inch um, I think it's a little bit too big let me fix that so what I'm looking at is I want it to make it to about five and a half which looks right there that's where five and a half is. I did mess up in YouTube. Okay, that's okay. Can you guys see that? Or can you guys hear me loud and clear? I just want to make sure. We're good. They donated about 100 so far. How are you cranking out these masks? I haven't even donated one. Okay, so this needs to go out. Oh, wait, no. This needs to actually go in a little bit to about five and a half. That's where we want to be at. So we're at the five and a half mark right there. Let's actually bring this down. Let's pin this down actually. Okay. So what we're going to do, what I'm going to try to attempt to do without messing up, <laughs> is I want to sew this down. I have to put some pins all the way down so it stays. What am I looking at? As you can tell, I'm not very, 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 I'm very new to this as far as like doing these types of techniques with sewing. And that's why I kind of like made it a sew with me. So it's kind of like we're working together on figuring this out. I actually want to pin it the other way. I saw a couple on YouTube when they did the pleat. It looked kind of weird. So I'm trying to be, I'm like low key of perfectionist when it comes to this. Well, I guess now I am. Before I used to not be so like perfect about these things. Does anyone have an easier way of doing this? <laughs> so we started at, this kind of looks small, hold on. So we start at six and a half, and we want to end at five and a half, which is where this is right now. Cool. Okay. Let's keep it at that. Let's sew it down, and then we'll kind of go from there. Looks like a good size from the side of the screen. Yeah, I'm trying. To, I'm trying to bring the size down to about four, four, four inches is what I saw or what I estimated because I have a, like a face mask to base everything on but uh, again we're still going to be like kind of messing around with it and getting the getting the like measurements all good are, are ties or elastic better that's what we're going to be figuring out in this stream I really want to like take this time out to figure these things out I feel like the information that's out there Especially when there's like all these YouTube tutorials on how they make these masks. Uh, there's a lot of misinformation that's kind of going on and I kind of don't like that because when people make these masks, especially with cotton fabric and they don't wash it before they make the masks, they kind of just wasted 
that mask that they made because it gets it shrinks it shrinks a little bit um but yeah let me know if you guys have any like information about making these masks because honestly i, I want to be as informed as any, you know the next person so when i make these masks i'm going to be making them you know correctly i don't think there's a correct way to do sewing but uh, just being informed and just being you know correct I think that's the best thing in this case right now. Hopefully, get this going. I'm gonna take out my thread real quick, and then thread the needle. How are you guys doing? How are you guys doing this Sunday? I know I started the stream like a little bit late. I said I, said I was gonna do it like kind of during the day, but then you know things kind of happen. I got, I got a haircut. <laughs> it's so crazy because like. It's crazy because I want to get a haircut and I don't know if this is just a struggle for me or is like everyone's dealing with this. I really want to get a haircut for my barber but just kind of that social distancing is like very important. So I, I just I just gotta stay musty you know what I'm saying like it's just that's what it is. It is what it is you know what I'm saying. It is what it is. Alright let's go ahead thread my machine. Oh yeah, I forgot. My automatic needle threader, like on my machine, is broken. It sucks. It sucks a lot. I don't know if this is the proper needle. We'll know when uh, my machine starts to hiccup when I try to sew. When when they're cleaning the mess and auto want all you want all caught including the thread to take up the heat of the high pressure steam could you elaborate on that i'm i'm interested i also need that cdc link because I like started the stream so fast I couldn't gather all my links and I know that you guys have like the links, the good links to like where people can get informed about these situations. Or this about this type of thing. Okay. Get that needle through. Got it. I'm using black thread instead of like what what is kind of like the best for the fabric or as far as color matching. Um, oh, let's actually put the bottom thread. That would be that would be very important. Let's see. Let's go in here. Careful with those needles, man. There is my pressure foot. Put this down. So this is kind of like my test fabric. I'm not going to be using this fabric for my masks. I just want to see how this would look and how this would all work. Okay, I might have to go on the other side. Let me see how that looks first. I have to cut this thread. So the idea is to create these pleats and then it will extend as I uh, open it or, or not. 
I think what I was supposed to do is not go across. Wow, already messed up. But that's okay. Uh, I still can continue with this face mask. I wasn't thinking it through. Uh, I just knew that a lot of people were doing these pleats, but I didn't. I didn't even know why. <laughs> but it's okay. I'll still get it to four, four inches, and then we'll kind of make make ends on there. Cause this is also, I think this is actually probably beneficial to have this kind of like small area where. Light over. Oh, you want to send that over? Try to put a link to it. Yeah, that works. All right, let's get this folded. Let me try to fold this properly. Masks used in vet clinics, for instance, gave their N95 and using masks of cloth. It is the sterilization process of cleaning them in the vet clinic. Hmm. Like, I feel like this is, like, all, like, information. I, I think it's, like, right now it's great that people are so open to, like, spread this information. And I didn't know anything about, like, vets giving out their masks. Like, I didn't even know that. And there's like so much information out there. You just gotta be careful like what you like decide to accept as valid information, you know? Like it's really hard to figure certain things out because of what's going on. All right, so what I'm gonna do, so we're at, we're about at five and a half. So what I wanna get to is four and a half. So we gotta do one more. I got like a really like a low key stream this Sunday. I felt like what's going on in the world is just getting crazier and crazier. And from my understanding, it's it's getting to the point where we don't know what's gonna happen. Like there's only there's only so much estimates on like how how everything's gonna turn out. And I hope that like realistically, this is this is like the ideal wish that I have for like what's going on right now I wish that like or I hope I hope I hope I hope that like when they find the vaccine everyone just takes the time out to you know get the vaccine or do what they need to do to you know contribute to what's going on because I think that the world needs it the most I know I'm sounding like a, like <laughs> Something like crazy. Well, something crazy is going on, but like, I feel I don't know. I feel more. I feel like the obligation to do more, and that's why I'm trying to like make these or figure out how to make these masks. Because there's there there are like people that can get on these masks, and I want to learn how to make, if not a better mask, just masks in general, and how to make it like really easy. And probably do like tutorials and whatnot. And also while I'm making these tutorials and hopefully I get some sort of attention, I do want to like spread awareness of like information, good information about what's going on and what people can do to help. How are you guys doing this Sunday? Like I, this Sunday, this week, this week alone has felt like the longest week in the longest time. Usually my weeks go by so quickly, but Recently, it's just been feeling so, so, so bland. I don't know why. Maybe because of the whole situation at hand. Or I've just, i just been, like, worked out. Like, worked to the bone. Because I, outside of YouTube, like, I have a, I actually have a full-time job. And work just feels like it's extra demanding recently. <laughs> and I, I, I do, I I, I am so like, I feel for people that don't, I don't feel how, I, okay, I can't imagine how people feel right now not having a job, like I wish there was something I can do to possibly help. I, I just don't know what that pot, that thing is, especially like locally. I know on a global scale, it's a little bit different. does is 
keeps this like middle area very firm. So when you put it on, oh, it's still kind of big. I might have to do another one. Actually, let's go over my nose. Let's see. Yeah. Well, I think that's about right. Maybe I should, uh, let me try to sew on some elastic. What material is this? This is, it's almost like a, what kind of material is this? It's like a rib knit. It's not, this is like a test, this is fabric I have laying, laying around so I can test these things. Uh, the pleat is to expand over the chin. You should have gone along the short side. Yeah, now I'm thinking about that. Good thing I have like a couple pieces of fabric cut out here. Cause I, I honestly didn't know how to go and approach this. I do have another one here. Just this is like the test, the test subject. So yeah, I was supposed to instead of going across here, I, I was actually supposed to go down like that. And I, I didn't even realize that when I was going and doing this. Um, I had it in, actually. I knew I knew to do it, but it just came across my mind. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. Uh, I'm actually gonna sew this down. This part down. As you can tell, I am not an expert at making, making masks. Uh, there are people that are way better, and I, I can agree. But I think that's that's kind of part of it. You, you you have to like you have to fail a little bit to learn how to do it, which of course in itself makes sense. Okay, so apparently I don't know if this is too short. I think I might have caught, caught this a little too short. <laughs> it's just a test. I was thinking of something similar to to fit the nose, drawing cloth down to fit better. That's that was like the idea, but now it just feels like I'm looking. I'm like, okay, I'm like testing it, and it's like <laughs> I think it's also because I didn't put any sort of lining. That's probably like the other thing. So the idea was to kind of sandwich it. And that's not what I've seen people do. But how do I make this easier? I mean, that's as easy as it gets, but I'm just thinking of like ways that we can make the masks better. And right now, I know that uh, fabric masks are like what people are primarily doing. But I actually bought some, let me show you guys. I don't know, I don't know the science about behind this, but I, I, I want some more feedback from people because just because like I was just researching this and I was thinking like what, what type of fabric would be the best for the scenario. And uh, one of, I don't know if one of, one of the people that came from last live stream, they, were they had this chart of different fabrics and the effectiveness against um, dust and whatnot. And I, I have that chart just readily available on my phone. But I realized that what's one thing, like this is something that I, like, I thought about. What and the first came in mind was like air filters because naturally that's what we use for like uh, hum not humidifiers yeah. purifiers and so I actually got a purifier fabric this is from Amazon and apparently this is to pre-filter for an air, fil air filter I can't talk tonight an air filter so this would get rid of dust uh, dust mites like the bigger particles and just things like that. So What it looks like let me take it out real quick So it's just something you would actually put on an air filter 
I was thinking that this would be like a really good fabric. It's stretchy. There's already a band on top, so you can actually just put it like that for the nose. It stretches. And this would be like that. I don't know. I'm thinking about it. I'm thinking about using it, but first I need to figure out how to make the perfect mask, in my opinion. I think that there's a lot of like different masks out there, but uh, it's just up, for, up to me to figure out what I think is personally the best. Um, the chart of things I use is also in the CDC link, single link, bottom of the page. I need to check out that CDC link. I think I've been on the CDC link a couple of times. Um, if, it, if dust mites, it might have insecticides in it. Do you think? So would you say that this is not something that we can use? Let me know. Because from my understanding, I was reading, I was reading the, um, I don't know. I'll, uh, I'll, I'll look into it a little bit more before I actually try to use it myself. But yeah, that's just something I was thinking about. Um, but I'll check on the insecticides because that's, that's definitely something that I, <laughs> I shouldn't, shouldn't have like breathing in, breathing out, you know? Okay. So, um, first one, not so good. I'm going to go ahead and redo this, but this time we'll do the pleats, but then do the pleats or when I do the pleats, I'm only going to sew this side. Micro band two. I'll take a look at it. Um, I'll ask the manufacturer what kind of things that it possibly could have. And then if not, then, you know, it's, it's a, it's a good, it's good, it's something good, something good that we can use. There's a really cool leather mask pattern I've been using. Yeah. I, I mean, there are, there are a lot of good mask patterns and I really, I really should be using a pattern, like not gonna lie. Um, but I really do want to learn how to make it from scratch. That's, that was like my big thing. Like I didn't want to use someone else's pattern. Like I'm, I've been, you know what? You know what I just realized? I think that, let me see, let me look at this. So let's find the midpoint. Make sure I'm gonna stretch out the fabric a little bit. Midpoint, we're looking at right here, where the red line is. So let's put this here. Okay, I just know that it's there. So this time, I'm just gonna fold it. So we got six and a half. We'll go down to five and a half. Let's see. What? Um, okay. Hello, the 17th century German plague mask. Is it leather? <laughs> okay, thank you. Um, Let's go and let's fold this over. It's definitely easier with cotton, let me tell you. I don't know, I felt like if I use cotton, oh, that's perfect right there. Okay, so I need to sew this down. This time I will not sew across, I will sew up and down. <laughs> I think that's how it should be. Okay, let's fold this down so it's four it's five and a half as well on this side having trouble here i should really use an iron i really want to get those like portable irons i don't know if you guys have seen that the portable irons okay put this down okay let's go let's try this one more time so what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be sewing across the top there. Let's put this over a little bit so you guys can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to start here. Or, yeah. I'm going to start there. I'm going to sew, or not sew. I should do it the other way. I'm gonna redo this. I have to take out that seam so it doesn't look so ugly. 
I feel like that's this is how like all my project starts. Like I when I when it's something that I'm completely new on, I usually or they usually look super ugly. My number one, I put a three and a half pleats so down the sides. Is that what it is? Three and a half? I have, I have my pattern set to four four and a half. Is that too big? Do you think that's too big? Let me know. Cause it might. It sounds a little big, in my opinion. Let me see why. Cause I'm just gonna cover up the sides anyways. So I think it's fine. Okay, let's try this one. Let's try it this way. I think this way would be a lot better. It's so crazy because I feel so. If it's crazy to me right now because I've been sewing for so long but like when it when it comes to like something new like this it's so strange to me like it's it's like I, I never sewed a day in my life that's what it feels like that's what it feels like right now I'm not gonna lie See this side. Start here. Okay. I gotta hold the fabric too. Let me put up the speed a little bit. Okay. Okay. That was the idea. That was the idea that I was gonna get at. I was supposed to get it so it's pleated now naturally well I'll probably I guess I'll try to iron it after so okay. prototype <laughs> prototype time okay so six so that's six so I want half actually not six folded like that so then we do another fold obviously not a pro at pleating it's like my number one fear of my life right now so I'll bring it down to five okay. pleating is not my thing <laughs> is there like a pleater? Like, is there like a tool that pleats for you? Like, I'm genuinely serious. No, three half inch pleats. I think that's what I was going for, but then it didn't happen. <laughs> I think it's just harder because I'm also using, um, what's it called? I'm also using a ribbed knit fabric instead of cotton. Cotton, it folds a little bit better, in my opinion. Five. I was gonna rough ruffler edge instead of pleating. Yes, there's a pleat attachment. I, I I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure I, I knew that. It's just it's when you take so much time away from sewing and then you go back into it. It's just like, is there this? Is there that? <laughs> okay, let's kind of get this going. I think if I keep practicing this at least once every day, I'll, I'll get a little bit better. I think that, you know, okay, why did it go so far back? Hold on. I'm going that far back from this. Okay, let's go up a little bit. There. I'm not sure how people are doing this. 
I watched a couple tutorials. Oh, that just got rid of my face entirely. Hmm. I should really just keep the the pin in. I think that's, that's where I make a mistake, like hundred percent. Uh, sorry if you guys are frustrated. I'm, I'm equally like frustrated too. Just cause like I really want to learn how to make these masks. Cause I really want to help make some for like friends and family and whatnot. Okay, so let's just try it this time. This time, hold it. Keep it going. The idea is to not give up. <laughs> I think this is like the greatest time for sewers though. We have a, we have like a, a bigger purpose right now. A way bigger purpose. Okay, let's try this side. This way. Let's keep it nice, nice and pleaty. their binder foot. What? Why? Why don't they use their binder foot? That's kind of insane to me. And what did I even do here? <laughs> it didn't even like barely. <laughs> okay, but I get the idea. I get the idea. I get the idea. Five and a half. And not in half. <laughs> okay, so let me see. No, I didn't. That doesn't look like I'm doing. <laughs> okay, these pleats don't want to be pleating. <laughs> All right, so we're at five and a half. Let's just try to do a mega pleat. Maybe that's where I'm going wrong. They, they fold the binding over and press, finger press, quick sewed. Oh. <laughs> this is turning out bad. Okay, so what I've learned from this one is that this is a really bad material to use. <laughs> Okay, I have two more cut here. We're gonna start this from the beginning and we're gonna work on it, okay? Let me try a different technique. Let me try, let me fold like this. Okay. I'm gonna fold it down. Let's see if this is actually easier. So this is four and a half. I just want to see what this would do. To do one big fold. Would that make things different? Four and a half. <laughs> I'm really like trying to take shortcuts now. Okay. So what would that do with this type of material? It seems like you could still stretch it out, but it would retain the kind of the width, not the width, the length that it needs to be. So when you do make a mask, when you do make it, you can still expand it without all the extra pleats. It's gonna expand regardless, 
What was? Does anyone know what the what the purpose was of the multiple pleats? Like, could someone give me? Could, does anyone have that answer? <laughs> I sure hope someone has that answer. Uh, they fold the binding over too much stretch with the last one. Yes. I think that this material alone is just too stretchy. So I feel like because it's so stretchy, it doesn't, it doesn't need, I feel like it doesn't need to be pleated. A lot of the other materials that people are using, there, there's no stretch to it. So what I'm thinking is that it just needs one, this one in particular, this, this material only needs one pleat. The contour around the face. All right, Hans, thanks for dropping by. Uh, stay safe. I'm gonna try hard with this mask. The contour around the face. So, if, but has has people has people been using like elastic, like not not elastic? Has people been using fabric with stretch for fitting over the chin area and not pull away from the nose area? Okay, what I want to try, this is just a theory. If I do one pleat, right? One pleat over with woven material, pleats are necessary, I see. Okay, let me just do one pleat, stretchy material. How diff, okay, I'm gonna go this way because I should be going this way. Up the mountain and over the ridge. I think that's, I heard someone say that somewhere. Okay, we're gonna go up the mountain, over the ridge for one pleat. I just wanna see what that would, that would kind of look like. Where, where are we at? Is my, is my thing plugged in? Yep, you're plugged in. That's like my like big thing and I'm trying to get out of this. <laughs> Breakthrough city. It's all about experimenting. I think that people have a lot, people already established what's right. But here <laughs> on my channel, I try to figure out what else we can do with this. Now let's try it. did was create a pleat in the middle what we're gonna do now is actually sew on some elastic to see what kind of effect this has how big is this now it's four and a half right four and a half so let's sew down elastic see what that does the reason why I'm not adding lining is because this is not a, a full on mask. So let's sew on elastic and see what happens from there. Elastic right here. Let's not put too much elastic. Let's put a good amount of elastic. side, put the other side on. Okay. Sell my foot to uh, take care of that. Okay, my foot did not want to take care of that. Okay, let's see what, let's see what uh, one side looks like. Yeah. <laughs> so 
So this one looks like on the ear. I don't know. I gotta put it on the other side to see what what kind of effect that has. The only thing is, um, if I'm gonna do it like this, which I don't think I am, I, I have to. I really have to like cut the second piece to four and a half. But again, I don't know. <laughs> I don't even know if I want, I'm gonna like fall through with this. But I just do wanna. I do want to see if this works because I'm very curious. So it's about like half. Guys, I hope we're going through a breakthrough right now. <laughs> I think this is it. This is the breakthrough we've been looking for. Okay, that ain't my last thing. That's okay. Okay, let's put the other end here. Over the ridge, through the mountain. So let's put this here so you guys can see. Under the foot. Okay, like so. Okay. Sloppiest effort later. Okay. Uh, what's the purpose of the pleats for the nose? So it expands to cover the nose and opens wide enough so when people are talking or speaking and, and for extended chin. If you use a bias binding on the small edge and do two ties out of a non-stretch material, it should work. Let's see. Is this what people... Oh wait, I think I... Is there an upside down? Let's see. So... Hmm, this does not feel comfortable. <laughs> oh, I see. What it? What is this supposed to look like? Is it? Is it? Is this? Does this look weird? Does this look weird, guys? I really need. So I'm getting opinion, or my fiance is saying it looks right, but you guys know better than than us. So this is the only concern I do have. Elastic here? This is elastic, pretty much. What do you guys think? I don't again, this is like more of a sample. It it's not it's not like I don't know, it's I don't feel you you know how you have like something you want it it this doesn't feel right. <laughs> <laughs> the problem is below your eyes near the nose but if it's not comfortable I mean I don't it's comfortable like I don't I can actually I can breathe okay that's that's probably the most obvious but I don't feel the thing is I know people put the um what is that the braided cord here so it, like it like it pretty much closes this gap right here, but it's not really a gap here at all. Let me look at it. Maybe it's just because the camera is small. So let me show you guys. That's what it looks like. That's correct, less on the chin. Okay, so this part needs to be less. <laughs> it looks weird, yeah. So I think, I think, I think the, the measurement itself is wrong. So, do I have another? Do you want to take a second I have to, I still have one more. So I'm gonna try, try, try to do a three and a half. What was that? I know, but I think people are see the CDC link does 
The material talked about what does the material say? Uh, Sorry, I'm getting confirmation. I have a, uh, I have my manager here to talk about confirmation of information. People are using cotton fabric. Does it? Does is there a table on effectiveness for each type of fabric? Because I know that's that's a thing. Uh, uh, maybe the pleats would help get it closer to the sides. Because if I have more pleats, the thing is, the thing is, I'm using stretchy material, so if I add more pleats, if I added more pleats here, because this kind of has like the the dimensions of the pleats that I was gonna add. Maybe I just gotta. Yeah, see, that's that doesn't seem right. They're using coffee filters. They're using coffee filters. Yeah, for the for this part of the pleats. Have you guys have you guys seen that coffee filters for? I need I need some I need. I can get to you. Touch your face more. That's correct. Okay. I don't want to get on. I don't want to get on the website right now. I'm trying to like figure this out. As far as like, if it's comfortable in my face, it's pretty comfortable. I don't. I don't feel like it's intrusive. Is, is that the word? Intrusive. But it just looks strange. I feel like. I don't know. I think I'm gonna make it smaller. I'll make I'll make this one more time because I have elastic for another run. So I have more elastic here, so right there. I have there's this all this stuff here that doesn't need to be here. <laughs> okay, so this one's a no go. This one also a no go, but I do have one more. Now what this this time what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna make it smaller. So let's do three and a half. So not, since I'm gonna do three and a half, I'm gonna do two pleats this time. Let's see. Let's see what that would looks like. I feel like that would be better. Let's see how much this is. So let's make that two and a half. And then let's do another one to cover it up. Oh, that's more on the bottom half. So that's this is three and a half right here. So let me before I, I jump into this. Uh, if it's not comfortable, I use cotton double over the coffee filter. The coffee filter for the duck bill mask. It looks better than my plain white one. Just pop in and say hi. What's up, Shirley? So shout outs to Shirley because she's been giving me all the details on all the good stuff. Um, be sure to check her out on Instagram. I don't know what her Instagram is, but uh, you can plug that in the chat. I'm shouting you out right now. <laughs> uh, thanks for always helping out. Uh, that's because you use the horizontal stripe. A solid color might look better and turn the lines vertical. Yeah, I really just picked this fabric just because I, I had no use for it and I want to recycle fabric right now because I just can't go to the fabric store. It's like the worst idea. Okay guys, so this is three and a half. We're gonna try this. We're gonna try this first and see if that looks a little bit better. Cause right now I think for the time being, what I'm focusing on is the size. Cause I think that starting at six and a half and then bringing it down to three and a half and then bringing it down to three and a half because of pleats, I think that's good. Cause then it, should not, it shouldn't like cover Oh, I shouldn't be touching my face. <laughs> oh shoot, gotta wash my hands. I gotta wash my face. I gotta wash everything, I sanitize everything. Uh, anyways, so it needs to be genu genuine, genuine, generally in this area, I think. Someone can, could someone fact check that for me? <laughs> it would be great. Okay, we're gonna do this. We're gonna go over the ridge. Over, over the, or up the mountain, over the ridge. That's what it's called. Oh shoot. Okay, hold on. The 
this is um, messing up. Let me let me trim this down. I don't want to mess up this one. This is my last piece of cut fabric. Yeah, see, it lost it lost a lot of. Hold on. Let me add the thread right there. Let's re let's do repleat this. Uh, vertical lines looking like Hannibal, <laughs> Mad Max. Yeah, I, I literally, I literally got this this fabric. Um, whoa, what happened to the thing on this side? It disappeared altogether. <laughs> okay, hold on. Let me, let me redo this. Yeah, this is just scrap fabric that I just had chilling, chilling around. Hmm. Okay, what I'm gonna do is one pleat, stop, and then do the following pleat. I think that's what the plan is. That's gonna be the plan. Cause if this is like a really, like I'm, I'm trying not to use a lot of material too. Cause I know that people can't go to the store and buy fabric. So a lot of people have like hoard and don't, don't even lie. Like I know some people who are like sewing people, like, you know who you are. You have hordes of fabric somewhere and like, <laughs> This is the best place. This is the best time to get rid of all of them in this situation. So, so I'm gonna go over the first pleat. Okay. What? We gotta end it there. Okay. And then let's do the other side actually. Let's do the other pleat. Might have to move this needle to the this. Another part. <laughs> I didn't know. I lost my words for a second. Let's go to this side. Let's go over here. Let's bring this over over the mountain. Okay. All right. Effectiveness. Cotton t-shirts at 69%. Cotton blend is at 74%. Dish towel. Dish towel? Yeah. Okay, I don't think, it, but then like trying to wear a dish towel or dish towel on your face is probably like going to be really uncomfortable yeah. in my opinion. I don't know why I tried so hard. Is this, is this off the CDC? No, it's like copy off the CDC. Okay, it's okay. I have, I have the link somewhere. Uh, I'll find it. Uh, Shirley said so on YouTube and IG. Yeah, check out her channel, her IG. Um, send her some love, subscribe, and all that goodness. Uh, hey all, bummer I missed the notification. Glad I caught y'all live. What's up? What's up? I'm not. I'm late, so I'm not sure what you're using. Is that cotton? It's a jersey knit. Um, using cotton or cotton blend would be better. The tight woven the better Qu quitting quilting cotton and adding a layer of HEPA vacuum cleaner bag for protection see that's the thing um, the idea the, what I'm trying to do here is try to use all the material that I have just laying around um, I know that sometimes like People can't get certain material because I, I feel like that's what's gonna happen. Everyone's gonna start buying. Um, yeah, everyone's gonna start buying up all the cotton, and there might be a short. Well, I don't think there will be a shortage, but just in case, uh, I I want people to know that there are different ways, or there's different fabrics that you can use. I guess that's what I'm trying to get at. You can use different fabrics. I think this pleat is a little bit too low though. Let's go the other way. Let's go, okay, there's a pleat here. Oh, I kind of messed up with putting the pleat that, that high or that low. I think that's, that's my bad. <laughs> Let's put it here. Three and a half. That's looking good. So let's put a pin here. I understand now why it's so important to have the that half inch pleat. I know I, it's not like I wasn't believing anyone. 
and talking about it, but I have to, like, sometimes I just need to visually see things for me to, like, really, 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 I guess another way to say I'm hard-headed. <laughs> I should just believe people, like, right off the bat. And I do, but it's feel like I just need to visually see these things for me to, for me to get it in my head. Cleats are a little low there, but it's okay. So I just want to see what it overall looks like at three and a half inches. That's a good stuff. Or I guess this top part could be for the nose. I never thought about it like that. I just want to modify it so depending on who's wearing it. Yeah, make a little bit more sense. That's what I've always been about, guys. How to make something easier. Or not easier, better. And I'm gonna fail trying to figure it out. Okay. Oops. Alright, let's let's see what the chat's all about. I heard that she, she Quilting cotton, Peppa. Would you recommend sewing three layers of fabric in a mess or keep it at two layers? I think that like overall, the idea is just having a layer of, a layer of protection. Adding more layers, I feel like would, and I'm not by any means an expert in any of this, but on a personal level, I think more layers makes it harder for you, number one, to breathe. I think more layers is harder. It would make you feel worse. <laughs> uh, I don't know. I feel like if I had three layers of fabric on my face, it would make things a little bit harder. Unless you got like really strong lungs. I don't know. <laughs> uh, HEPA vacuum cleaner bags is one step below surgical mask. So if you have two layers of quilting cotton, which is tightly woven in a vacuum cleaner bag, it is good. But then... I was able to get a K995 from Alibaba. This is different from the N85. Wow. It's a, it's a, it's a guessing game, honestly. And I feel like at, at the time of panic, people are not really like, people are not really looking, well, I guess people are really looking for the best, but I think in reality, what people need is just some sort of protection overall. And, that's what I'm trying to do here. I'm trying to make not the best mask, but a, like one that's not too hard to also make. I know there's like all these different types of masks out there already, the tutorials and whatnot. But we need to also um, also see what the options are as far as different masks we can make. Because I all, I all I see on YouTube now is like easy as mask, this and that. But I feel like there needs to be a variety of different masks for different situations. I know that some people are like, like me, I have a big head. Like I can't fit certain masks, so I need a big, big uh, head mat or a mask for big heads because I have a big one. Okay, let me talk. Stop talking about my head. <laughs> Alright. Put this. Oh, I think it's gonna take it. Please take that. Okay. It barely took that. It barely took that. Okay, let's do the other side. Yeah, that's why I'm experimenting with different ways. I, I feel like yes there's already good ways to uh, make masks but I think there's good there's always a better way not a better way but there's always going to be more options I'm not trying to say I'm making the best option I'm just saying I want to give more people chances to make something and people are probably asking why I'm not back stitching again this is more like a prototype I guess what I'm going to do now is just keep practicing and 
making masks when I get the chance. I think that what I want to try next is the oval mask. The, the I don't know what they're called, but it's like it's very close to the uh, ninety the N ninety five. I think that's what they're called. Okay, so let's try this one. This one. A little bit better because you can stretch it down if I need to. There's pleats here for the nose. It doesn't go too far under my chin because I think that I think this is like pretty good as far as like width and length. Or well, I guess this is width and length. <laughs> what do you guys think about this one? Yeah, it's just a prototype. I feel like I'm going to be adding, of course, more layers. But even this, just having it like this, it's doable. I feel like if I add layers to this, it's going to make it even harder to breathe. I wore a sur regular surgical mask out today. Yeah, that's right. It was hard to breathe. At this point, if you're not sick, stay home for at least 14 days. Uh, oh shoot! I I also have found our doctors. As he lost eighteen pounds, holy moly! I hope he's okay. COVID is no joke. Like honestly, that's why we need to protect ourselves from these things. Um, <laughs> undercover pop K-pop star. Ah. Uh. You know what's so crazy? Uh, the other day, I just want to talk about this real quick. The other day, when I was talking to one of my coworkers, they were telling me like, hey, are you Korean? And I was like, no, I'm not Korean. I'm, I'm actually Filipino. And they're like, well, you can really pass as a Korean. <laughs> and I was like, cool. Um, yeah, this one's a little bit better. Um, I think... It's either you have the mask that protects you very well, but you can't breathe. So it's you, you, it's like one or the other. You got to pick comfort over protection, which kind of sucks. And hey, my prayer is out to you. Like, I can't believe that you have a family member that you know that is going through something. Like that's, to me, I don't, I don't want to wish that upon anyone, you know, but yeah, let me know about this one. I think I got the dimensions right. I just need to... I guess I need to tinker around with the mask a little bit more. Just because, again... Look at this. <laughs> this is, the, having the pleat up top actually helps it, like... Helps the nose. It's, it's pretty great, actually. It's, like, super, like, I don't know... Just because the fabric is uh, like a jersey knit, it's kind of cooling on my face. And I'm not. I'm not trying to just say that because I, I I use the <laughs> jersey knit. But yeah, I I think that this is good. I think also two layers is something I will explore in the next live stream. I actually uh, wanted to live stream longer, but I just realized that I still got a lot of things to do today. But I'm just gonna spend the last couple of minutes kind of like just chatting with you guys and just trying to end up informing. Not informed, but get informed of like the information that's been spread around, and let's kind of conversate real quick. Um, like real quick, what do you guys think of this mask? Does it look better? Yeah. Um, the the quality, the build of this one, I didn't sew it like properly, but I think the idea is that it it's. It fits on my head. It's not, my ears aren't like, I heard that a lot of people when they wear masks, their ears are, are really sore. Like I don't feel any pressure here, which is good. So I know that this measurement, it's, it's a six by, or a six and a half, six and a half by six and a half. And then I brought it down to three and a half, three and a half by six and a half. And I think this works for my face. So I got to figure out a little bit more about, or I guess I got to kind of research and experiment with what 
will hit people or what people can do to make the best match for them. <laughs> um, thank you. Uh, the mask does look better. It does fit snugly. It It's weird because I don't, I can breathe. I can breathe. Like that's, I think that's one thing that's good. But adding another layer on top of this, I can't imagine what it feels like. Like I can't imagine breathing. <laughs> Um, are you going to put the dimension in the comments? So this one, um, yeah, I'll put it in the comments. I'm also going to put it in the description. Um, I will think about putting a backing layer, but for now, just because, like, I'm, like, I'm trying to breathe in and out so I can, I can see if it's, like, reasonable to wear all day. Like, I'm going to wear it all, I'm gonna wear it all day and then kind of get back to you guys next live stream because like Honestly, it's all about testing. I don't want to put out like I don't want to put out a tutorial on something that doesn't work You know like if that's something that I haven't tested it's something that I haven't like explored or experimented with that's why I'm gonna have these live streams to like talk about these things because oh My god, <laughs> I can't talk because I like I'm always thinking about breathing so like I talk and then I breathe because like I don't know this it feels weird it feels weird anyways I look like a ninja I definitely do I definitely do <laughs> I might put a I might put a cotton backing onto this but again I gotta figure out if that's breathable that's like the only thing that I'm scared of our non-woven interfacing between maybe even a coffee filter I'm gonna try the coffee filter. I think I might have one just to put in between. But how have you guys, like, when you guys make your masks with a double filter, can you guys breathe? I, I need, I need, I need, like, confirmation on that one. I need confirmation on that one so I know, like, what other people are kind of dealing with, and then I'll probably do it myself. Off camera. Featherweight? Do you guys have any recommendations on interfacing? Because that's the one, that's the other thing. That's the other thing I'm like curious about. Oh shoot. This is the other one. I might just have to make this for now. It's really fast. It was like the fastest. It doesn't need to look pretty. I think that like, that's the other thing. I, I think, I think that, uh, I think I need to give cotton a chance. Cause I feel like when I think of cotton, I feel like it's like, it's constricting on the body. That's what I'm like, what type of cotton? Is, is the cotton that you guys are speaking on is it the one that's like no it's like no stretch because i know there's some cotton that's like a jersey knit i mean like i just i genuinely am curious it looks kind of interesting like it and then if i don't really want it that high made a mask for husband and his co-workers and got positive feedback. I use a vacuum filter in the built-in pockets. Light to medium interfacing that's interfusible. Okay, I'll take a look at that then. Basic surgery mask. Yeah, I don't, I don't think that these masks are meant for like of all day use. Like you, you have to come out to breathe at one point. Which is unfortunate because if you work all day, like you, that's not something that's like permissible, or that's not something you want to like do. But I think this to like just get yourself out in public. I think it's good enough. I don't think it needs to go any further than that. 
Just to no stretch, like maybe your bed sheets or a bunion up shirt. I have a lot of that. So I'll, get, I'll, I'll probably get it. I'll give that one a shot either off camera or into the next live stream. But uh, make sure you guys to wear your masks uh, when you go out. <laughs> uh, it, I literally made that one really quickly in about like 10 minutes. So I don't think, I don't think people have an excuse to not wear their mask. I'll check out the vacuum fi filter. I'm curious about that one. Um, I did buy that filter for the, the air filter one, so I gotta check if we can even breathe that in. If not, I know what else we can use that for. <laughs> but anyways guys, um, I'm gonna end the live stream right now. Oh, if, if they say you can smell anything through the mask, it's no good. Okay, if you're using pipe cleaner to shave around the nose, possibly. I'll take a look at that. But anyways guys, thanks for watching. I know that this live stream was like, it was like, like it had a short start to it, but then it ended up in a good way with a lot of good information. So anyways, uh, I'm gonna catch you guys next Sunday. I hope you guys like this like really short live stream. I'll catch you guys in the next one next Sunday. Um, I'm gonna try to have it earlier in the day, maybe around three o'clock my time, so three o'clock Pacific Standard Time. Anyways, um, I'll, I'll, I'm going to read you guys' comments after the live stream and then uh, start working on this a little bit more. Uh, I'll catch you guys in the next live stream. Follow me on Instagram, Kennedy Daily. Be sure to send me information if you would like. Chat with me. I've been trying to get back to people as fast as I possibly can. Um, but yeah, it's nice seeing you guys. I'm live streaming every Sunday. Catch me next time. Uh, Peace.